Well, the Browns introduced Freddie Kitchens today as their head coach, Mary Kay and Scott. And uh, look, he had a lot to talk about. Him and John Dorsey were up there for the press conference. Let's get to some takeaways, Mary Kay. Uh, what was your big takeaway from this presser? Well, first of all, one of the questions we all wanted to know, is he going to call his own plays? We know that's the reason Freddie Kitchens got this job in the first place, and he hired a very good coordinator in Todd Munkin, who called his own plays, who called the plays this past season for the Bucks and did a very nice job of it. Hard to attract a guy like that when he's not going to call the plays, but somehow the Browns managed to do it, and Freddie Kitchens will call his own plays. Scott? You know, I think he he came out and really admitted that he's not a finished product. You know, there was a lot of talk of, is Freddie Kitchens ready to be a head coach? And even during the season, he said, well, who's ready to be head coach? But he admitted he's not a finished product. He's kind of learning on the go, and he seems really open to the whole collaboration idea. Uh, he really touted his support staff. He's got two coordinators that are very experienced. So I think that was a big thing, that, that he's ready to, to kind of learn and, and take this as it comes. Yeah, I think what stood out to me is that this became a reality pretty early on for John Dorsey because he came in with a list. Freddie Kitchens was not on that list initially, but John Dorsey said to us uh, after the presser that Freddie Kitchens ended up on that initial list of candidates among the, uh, the group that was making the coaching choice. So Freddie Kitchens' rise was pretty quick once he took over as offensive coordinator. Of course, he's been in the league for a while, but his rise once he took over as OC uh, was pretty quick, Mary Kay. Well, he must have read my column on December 20th uh, where I suggested that, that they interview uh, Freddie as a head coach. So I'm, I'm sure that's when they got the first idea. But <laughs> just kidding. Um, okay, so uh, another takeaway uh, that I had from this press conference is we have all seen the witty banter that goes on between Baker Mayfield and Freddie Kitchens. We've seen it when Baker Mayfield's mic'd up. We've seen it on the sidelines. We see it at practice. And he swears he is going to continue to be himself. He's not going to change. And that was a theme throughout the whole press conference, that Freddie is Freddie. The dialect, the hoodie, you name it, he's going to be himself. Yeah, no hoodie today, Scott, but he did have the, uh, the suit and then the hat on top. He did. It was a good look. Uh, you know, I think he was asked during the press conference uh, a question about how he hadn't gotten a shot at offensive coordinator before. And Actually, when he was with the Cardinals, Bruce Arians was trying to groom him to be that. Uh, they had an offensive coordinator who was getting a lot of head coaching interviews, but it never happened. 2017 rolls around, Arians leaves, Freddie's kind of off on his own and having to start over again. So it wasn't totally that the Browns found this guy in the running back room who nobody noticed before. But, you know, if, if the things work out, they're the lucky ones who actually gave him the shot. And I think what we've all learned is that uh, maybe the fourth preseason game matters more than we think because all we keep hearing about is how great he was in that fourth preseason game, and John Dorsey brought it up again. So I guess uh, I guess we need to pay more attention to those fourth preseason games. Freddie Kitchens, your new head coach of the Cleveland Browns, will have full coverage of the day here at First Energy Stadium. That's how big of a deal they made out of it. It'll all be at cleveland.com slash browns.